In today's video, I'm going to build my biggest project in survival Minecraft yet. I'm going to build a giant castle on this island. Now this video took a long time to make, so if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. Now last episode, I built this villager trading hall, and after some time, I finally got a mending villager. But then I left for like 5 minutes, and he decides he doesn't want to sell me mending anymore. So I had to convince him to sell mending again, and this took way too long. But once I finally got mending again, I started to enchant my armor and my tools. And then I walked past my iron farm, and lo and behold, it's working now. This is the best day of my life. I finally don't feel like a loser anymore. But now that I have enchanted tools, I'm ready to get tons of resources for this village. So let's get some spruce wood, copper, diorite, cobblestone, andesite, and most importantly, dirt. So this is going to be the entrance of this giant village. We're going to have these small towers and they're going to be like the entrance of the village. And I want to raise this part up a little bit so then the gate for the village is kind of like, you know, up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Look who decided to show up. All of you are going to die. I can do a raid maybe. I think we'll do that later. Maybe we'll do a raid later. I'm going to worry about the river later and make it look a little nicer because right now it does kind of look weird and we'll do more terraforming later. But for now, I just want to worry about this little cliff right here. So we're just going to bring this up. Okay, that's actually not a bad little cliff right there. I'll make it look a little better later. We'll add more. Uh, we'll add some stairs, some slabs, some andesite. Make it look a little more realistic, but that's a good start. And now we can bring this dirt out more and make a nice flat area so we can build our gatehouse up there. Now for the gate or the big entrance of the village, we're going to, it's going to be fairly simple. Um, where's the middle? Is this the middle? Let's say this is the middle, so we'll go one, two, three. What we're going to do, we're going to make a nice little area like this. And then we can go here and replace some of it with the polished diorite. Give it a little bit of texture here. Now, the interesting thing with this uh, build, I'm also going to bring them out like this. And uh, you'll see why. It's going to look great. They also have to be stripped. I forgot. Oh, oh, my my axe broke. You know, instead of me walking through this whole thing, how about I just do a little bam, pow, bitty bop, boop. It's so gorgeous. This is the, uh, the gate house building thing. It's looking quite nice. Eventually, these will become, you know, greenish because copper does turn green over time, but it's, it's going really slow. I don't know why it's taking forever. I also went ahead and made this path. So this is, well, I mean, it's not the path's not there yet, but I, I dug out where the path is going to be. I've also been doing tons of terraforming and getting this place to look a little bit better. Now, terraforming isn't fun when you have an iron shovel. So we're going to go back and I'm going to get my levels back up to 30 because I'm at 7 right now. And then we're going to enchant the shovel. Also, iron farm. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh, I'm so happy. You know what's probably going to be better is just mining quartz. Going to the nether and mining, that gives you way more XP. I'm just going to do that. It's going to be so much quicker. Bam. We're going to the nether. Yeah. Okay, first it has to, has to fix my pickaxe first, doesn't it? Oh. You can't run away from me. Yeah. Oh, hello, ghast. Hello. Shoot your fireball at me. Yeah. Oh. He disappeared. Oh, this is much faster. Yeah, this is much faster. Wow. Oh, look, we found a fortress. Let's try this again, guest. Go, go, go. Let's go, we did it. Return to sender. Hardly know her. For some reason, the game decided I needed another nether portal over here. Infinite obsidian glitch? Okay, let's see what we can get with this. Hopefully something good. Efficiency and unbreaking. That's, that's actually what I was hoping for. Nice. Now that we're back over here, I'm going to work on the path, and I really don't know what I want for the path at the moment. I'm just going to go with coarse dirt for now. I don't really have an idea for a path yet, um, so if I want to change it in the future, I will, but for now, we'll just go with coarse dirt, because I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad, and we'll get this whole path uh, filled in here. Also, I've been dealing with a canker sore the past couple of days, and for those of you who don't get those and don't know what those are, consider yourself lucky. Uh, it's been impossible to talk. So I haven't been able to record anything, so that's why it's kind of been a while since I uploaded. Uh, but I'm I'm getting I'm getting better now, I'm getting over it finally. But God, it's awful. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of coarse dirt. We're gonna do that later because I don't feel like doing that, and I'm really eager to start building the castle. And I have a bunch of stone 
in these furnaces already to be used. So I think we're going to start over on the castle now. So we're going to have the front door is going to go. We'll bring it out here and then we'll come in here and we'll put the door probably right in there. One, two, three. Oh, that's not what I want. We'll put a little tower here. So we'll go like this. And we're going to make the door here. So we're going to break these. We're going to put this here. We'll go up two. There we go. That's a door. And then we could we're going to put some of this here and let's let's make it look. Let's make it look a little nice. Let's let's add a little bit of a little bit of spice to it. Yeah, there we go. That's not bad. It'll be fine. It'll be a fine little small door. Um, so with that now, we can figure out the size of these walls. We want to go to there. That should be fine because then we're going to put these walls here. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good height. Yeah, that's going to be great. So we're going to do that. That's going to be like the main the main wall. It'll go over to here. That'll be a tower we'll make. And that one's going to be a big tower. I think I'm going to work on that one first because that one's going to take the most time. It's going to be huge. Um, and then we'll have to go in later and I can grab, you know, we can grab some andesite, throw in some cobblestone, but we'll do that later. We'll throw in a bunch of different textures, make it look, make it look nice. So it's not all the same. We'll add some nice, good old, delicious texture. Everybody's favorite. I'm going to go to sleep now. I don't know exactly how tall this is going to be. Um, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna guess. We're just gonna go up and guess. That's a great idea. So we're gonna go up here. The pathway will be around here. So then we'll go up one, two, three, four, five, six more. But as you can see, so basically the tower is gonna go up and then it's gonna become wider and go up more. It's a really bad way of explaining it, but ah, you'll see eventually when it's done. And then it's all about filling this up. Already out of stone bricks. That, that, wow, okay. We need a lot more. We need, we need so much more. And now we can go back over here and start filling this up more. And for the top, we're gonna, where's the middle? That's what we need to find out. Where's the middle? What we're gonna do here is we're gonna place some windows. We'll go up one, two, three. That should be fine do that and then we'll place ow we'll place windows in there so th there's gonna be like tiny little towers sticking out so i guess we'll do this bring it up like that and they'll be i guess three by three now for the roof of this i kind of think it will look really good to have deep slate because i kind of want a really dark roof so we'll have to go and get a bunch of deep slate which i think i should have plenty of but i don't know i could be wrong then we can also maybe put these here and then that in the middle could be a nice little design there. Definitely going to need deep slate for the, for the roof. That doesn't look too bad. I actually like that. If we get another one on the other side and have the roof, I think that's going to look really cool. I am happy with that. Wow. Okay. I don't have a lot, but I have some deep slate. So we can try this out here and see what this is going to look like as a roof. I don't even have enough for the whole roof, actually. So that's kind of embarrassing. Well, we'll, we'll leave it like that for now. It's a start. <laughs> I am loving the look of that. I think that looks so good. I just need to get some more deep slate and then we can get some of the roof in there and really see what it's going to look like. And then once we can get some detail in there with stone, cobblestone, and andesite, I think it's going to look amazing. Super excited about that. So we need to go get some deep slate real quick. Where is my horse? Come here, horse. Where are you? You over here? Here they are. Well, I found my stash of deep slate. Now with some of the roof on, I think it's definitely starting to come together and I'm really liking the look of this. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up this tower, get all the sides in, get the roofs on, and then we can move on to the other parts of the castle. So I guess we'll do a quick little time lapse of me building. The main tower is finally done. And I also went ahead and got some of this wall up here. 
and we got this nice little design over there for the, the top of the wall. I think that's gonna look really cool. I filled in this with dirt and I have this idea of having the wall go diagonally. And then right here, we're gonna have a bridge that will go over this water. But as you can see, the plan for the castle is all done. And all we need to do is raise these walls up and then build the towers. And um, so I'm just gonna bring this up here and we'll start on the tower. For this tower, I wanna go and add a little bit more wood. So instead of having just stone, I wanna, I wanna get a little bit of wood in there. And of course, I don't have enough deep slate. Anyways, the tower should be done now and we can see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. It kind of breaks it up so it's not all just stone. Then you have some wood there and I think that kind of works really well. I like that. I think we're gonna do the same thing for the other tower over here. So I'm gonna get working on that right now. We got the second tower in here and I think it's really coming together now. It's looking fantastic. Also, I lost my pants from a very sad accident and I'm I'm actually really sad about that. I, I miss my pants to be honest. But looking at this, I do think it's missing something in the middle. I think we need to build something in the middle to bring this whole thing together. Um, and I think I have an idea. Let's go up here and then we're gonna add some good old spruce. I'm also gonna need more deep slate cause I want the roof to be deep slate again because apparently that's my favorite block now cause it's all I use. That is looking good. I am happy with that. I also have an idea. Um, I got a bunch of this tough and I think we can use this to make it look more reinforced. I was thinking maybe I could use the tough to just go up to like this and kind of go around the tower here. And maybe it's gonna look like it's more reinforced. I don't know, add a little bit more texture and stuff to it. Um, yeah, I think we can do that. I think that's a good idea. We just gotta get all the stone and bring up these walls cause right now they're just, you know, we gotta, we gotta bring this up. We gotta really make it almost look finished. It was time to get more cobblestone and I started to realize just how long this project was going to take. Just mining all the cobblestone took forever because I needed thousands of blocks of cobblestone to be able to finish this castle. Then once I started placing the blocks, I went through so many stacks of stone bricks. I have finally placed all of the stone bricks I need to place and the walls are now at the height they need to be. I don't know exactly why I put this tiny tower over here or what I plan to do with it. I guess we're just gonna, we're just gonna wing it. See what happens. That's what we're gonna do. That's okay. That's perfect. Definitely a tall tower, but I like it. Now that we finally have all of the stone placed, the next step is probably the step I'm, I'm, I, I was least anticipating because it's, it's just very time consuming. Um, I just gotta go along and do this. All I have left now is this final tower and I'm so ready to be done with this. It looks good though so far. I just realized I haven't done that one either, actually. So I, I have to do that one too, but it definitely looks better with the, the detail. Um, I also have to still finish the trim. I didn't do a lot, what am I doing? I, I have a lot to do still. I need to finish this. I gotta step it up. Going to, going to, oh, 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 we're fine. Everything's fine. And just like that, we should be, we should be done. Is this, did I do this whole side? I think I did. I think we're done. It looks, it looks better. I think we did it. I think we're done. I don't want to do this anymore. That took, tw that took, that took way too long. Get out of here. Okay, let's grab the last bit of this polished andesite and then we can finish this trim around the wall. Now, even though we got this far, there's still some things I still need to do. We can go back up here and finish this walkway, putting spruce slabs here, and there we go. And then we need to get stairs eventually. I don't know where the stairs are gonna be to get up into here, but this is like the last thing we can do here with this castle, is just place this along the wall and make it look a little bit more fortified. And it's gonna add a little, a little bit of detail. It's gonna be great. Looks like I forgot to do this part with dirt. Do I have dirt on me? That'll be good for now. This will just let us continue putting the tough down. Um, if I have enough, that is. I did it. Yes, I had enough. Oh, this is beautiful. Actually, well, we're not done yet. Let's add a little bit more here. There we go. We're done. Yes. But having that tough down at the bottom helps so much. I think that looks great. I'm loving that look. And I am ready 
to uh, stop building this castle now and uh, quit. And I'm done. I quit. That's it. No, I'm joking. I can't. I can't quit yet. I still have a little bit of work to do. When we started this video, I built that thing and I started getting the path in here. And now it's finally time, I think, to just finish the path and bring it up to the castle. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't even I didn't even look at the castle from back here yet. Ooh. Ooh, that looks beautiful. The path is finally done. What if we throw a little bit of leaves right here? Just to, you know, make the path look a little nicer. Wow. I have been working on this project for so long and we've done a lot. We've got a lot done. I love the look of this castle and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Next episode, I do want to add some houses in here and get some buildings in here. Make it look a little nicer in here so it's not just green. Um, we could also get this bridge in. I was going to do it this episode, but I am burnt out from building this castle for so long. And I also want to eventually do the interior because right now it's empty. And I think that'd be really fun and cool. But man, I've spent so long on this project and I am so happy with how it turned out. I love everything about this. And I think this is going to be the end of the video because I am, I am ready. I'm burnt out. I, but this has been fun. It's been a really fun time building. I just, I can't build anymore at the moment. So I want to thank you all for watching the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, comment something down below. What should I build next? Any ideas for the castle, whatever you want. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.